Hello felting friends. I am going to show you how to seal the face. So first thing you need is the Mod Podge Stiffy Fabric Stiffener. And I'm going to tell you how to prepare it. Um, it is a three to one ratio water to stiffener. You can use any jar and I like to make up a lot. Uh, as you can see, this is the consistency. You want to have like the little air bubbles. And I would highly suggest making a little sample. You can see that this piece, it was too heavy with the glue. You can see that little patch. There is um, the true color, the dark purple, and it got a little bit... Uh, if you use too much glue, it'll be a little bit white. So this was my new sample, the back of the head there. So you can see that you cannot see the, um, the fabric stiffener. So, uh, and then a little bit of wax paper underneath. So here I'm going to uh, backtrack a little bit now that the video is slowed down and tell you how to do it. So you want to use the Maj Podge um, 3 to 1. So it is 3 parts water to 1 part glue. And what I do is, I don't really measure per se, I just kind of um, give a squeeze. Sorry if you can hear any noise in the background. Again, I'm editing in my car, so just trying to get these videos out for you guys. Uh, so anyways, just do a little squeeze over the bottle and um, three parts water, one part glue, give it a good shake, and then... It should get those little bubbles that you saw on the brush. And this is a little bit of a stiffer brush. Um, and when you feel it, you should barely feel the adhesive on your fingers. So it's it should be like a little tacky, but really barely feeling it. And this is even um, a little bit too much glue. I kind of ran out of room in my jar to add more water and so the test sample did come out okay but generally when I put it on you really can't see this much white um but it, it worked out okay and I was happy with my sample so I knew it wasn't going to affect uh the face or anything but you could even water it down a little bit more um you really don't want too much glue because you will get a fading of the color of the wool it'll get as you saw on the purple ball, um, kind of like a white sheen to it. And then it'll also have like a little bit of that crusty, um, crusty look to it. And you cannot fix that. So if you use too much glue and not enough water, you are not going to be able to fix it. Um, so definitely do a test. This is the one time, you know, everybody hates doing samples, hates doing tests, but this is the one time that, um, do a test because you'll ruin your doll. So um, that's why I like to make up the big jar and that way, you know, you have it, it'll save um, and then you don't have to keep testing it every time you're going to put it on. Just when you run out and you need to make a new jar, just test that it, it's the right consistency. So as you can see, um, I just brush it on um, I'm just brushing it on, being a little bit careful over those uh, dark areas that have a lot of the color, just so I didn't um, smear the color into the white teeth and have to redo anything. So I was kind of dabbing a little bit more gentle. Um, I do not cover the eyebrows or any areas where there would be hair, um, just because it'll it'll tack that down. Um, and then I kind of brush along to glue down any fuzzy fibers um, that I want to glue down. So it pretty much goes everywhere else. I already did my test on the back of the head, which you can do um, since it's going to be covered by hair anyways. You can, if you don't want to make a spare piece like I did with the little purple ball, um, you can do it on the back of the head. So I ended up just watering it down a little bit more and doing a second test on the back of the head since my purple ball was a little bit too much glue. So there I'm just uh, getting the fibers down and you only want one coat. So that's why you can see I'm not doing the back of the head a second time. I'm just doing one coat 
and I have my wax paper down to protect my surface. Um, it gets a little drippy, so especially, uh, like I said, this is even a little bit too much glue. Uh, usually it's, it's pretty watery, so um, sometimes it'll drip off, and that's fine. So, um, yeah. So just cover everything over. And get it all sealed up. Just one, one good coat. This is a non-yellowing formula. And I will link this in the introductory paragraphs. You can order it from my Amazon link. Uh, when you go to dry this product, um, try to put your head in a cup so that it does not sit down uh, on any one part because it will pool and leave a crusty spot uh, where it's sitting on the uh, surface. So just put it in a cup and thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.